Dear fiance, love of my life, I cannot believe it's here. Today, I will become your wife. Thank you for believing in us, for being the amazing man that you are. What did I do to deserve all of this? This is a fairy tale life come true. My heart is open and available all for you, only you, for the rest of our lives. Thanking you is not enough to express how much I appreciate all that you have done. This is the best day of my life. I love you and I cannot wait to say I do. Love always, your future missus. P.S. I can no longer imagine my life without you. I'm ready, baby. everything I've ever dreamed of, and so much more. Our happily ever after starts today. Mm -hmm. Alright, big day is here. Got the game day butterflies going on. Didn't even need any coffee this morning, but I'm so excited. Excited for everything we've been planning. And looking forward to to finally be able to celebrate with all our friends and family and most importantly I'm so excited to marry the woman of my dreams my best friend Lauren Father, we thank you. Uh, we thank you for the institution of marriage that is simply not about paperwork for the government, but it is something that you uh, created long before we were ever here to represent who you are. And so we invite you now, Holy Spirit, to be here in this moment. Today I'm the luckiest man in the world. Lauren, you're everything to me. You're beautiful, you're intelligent. I love your sense of humor, your passion, faith, and determination in all that you do. You inspire me every day, both in my faith and in my life to be a better person. You are the love of my life, my soulmate, my supporter, my number one fan, my one man show my shoulder to cry on, my arms to wake up to, my best friend, and the man of my dreams. I vow to always hold you, to always stand behind your goals, your ambitions, and to always encourage you to pursue your dreams. Your smile is what I live for each day, and I promise you a lifetime of smiles and laughter. You're my best friend. <clears throat> You're the best teammate I could have ever dreamed of. 
today I win the best prize imaginable. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I promise to always demonstrate patience and the understanding that love demands. I promise to always laugh by your side because every moment with you is a blessing. I vow to always say I love you and I appreciate you every day. I promise to let go and let God and fully embrace this journey together. With this ring, I pledge to you my love. With this ring, I pledge to you my love. It gives me great pleasure by the power invested in me, by the great state of California, and yet by a higher authority, that of the gospel of Jesus Christ, to pronounce you husband and wife. You are one in name, and now you are one in purpose, and you may kiss your bride. When I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. And when I go out, yeah I know yes. I'm gonna be, There will be times I'm in your life when you feel like you're running out of gas. So and there will be times in life when you feel like and you're hitting home, a cement wall. Yeah, and there will be times when you're not sure what your dream will be next. But look at the journey you have been on in the past two years that I have been able to witness. And no matter what happens, God was working and is working. And that was just preparation for greatness. So cheers to Chad and Lauren. But I would walk 500 miles. And I would walk 500 more just to be the man who walked. A thousand miles to fall down at your door when I'm My advice is be yourselves, yeah, have fun with each other, be, communicate in the good times and the bad times, but live life for the Don't moment because from this day on, you're together and you have all of us supporting you for the future. So here's to Chad and Lauren. And when I'm lonely, well, I know I'm going to be Honey, come on. Bring that compact little figure up here. Full of prayer, full of life. This is not my daughter. This is my wife. And I told this to Rick and uh, Vicky last night. I said, um, you know, all you want as a father is to find a fine young man who's going to respect your daughter and treat her well. I told him, I took my glasses off, and I said, I love your son. But I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more, just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at you. Dream, I'm gonna dream about the time I had with you.